Whenever you capture a photo with a digital camera, the camera adds metadata to that photo, information about the capture that can be helpful later. For example, on the right panel in the library module, I can scroll down and view the metadata that's already contained in a photographic image. Here, for example, I can see which camera and lens was used and the particular settings that were used in order to capture this image. But I can also add additional details about the photo. The first thing you'll likely notice on the right panel, if you start scrolling down, is the keywording options. This is found directly below the Quick Develop section, and we can add additional keywords. Notice that I already have keywords added to these images because I added these keywords during the import process. So I know, for example, that this image was captured in Austria, which is in Europe, and specifically in the city of Salzburg but I could also add additional keywords to the image if I'd like. And most often, I simply use this text box in order to add additional keywords. I'll go ahead and add a comma, for example, and I could type flowers, and then perhaps tulips, since there are some tulips in this frame, and I could even identify the other flowers or where the image was captured in particular within Salzburg. I think that'll take care of the keywords for this particular image. I'll then scroll down a little bit and we can see some of the other options for adding keywords. We do have keyword suggestions, which are based on previously used keywords. We also have an option for keyword sets. The first option, the default, is recent keywords, so I can see keywords that have been added recently. Those that are added to the current image are highlighted in white. Those that are not added to this image are shown in gray. And there are also other keyword sets, for example, outdoor photography, portrait photography, and wedding photography, and you can also create your own keyword sets. Finally, we have the keyword list, and this will list all of the keywords for all images that are currently in your Lightroom catalog, including an indication of how many images have that particular keyword. You can filter the keyword list by typing a name so that if your keyword list gets very long, you can very quickly narrow that down. For example, if I type A, we'll see only keywords that contain the letter A. If you want to add any of these keywords to an image, you can simply turn on the checkbox for that particular keyword. In addition to reviewing the metadata that your camera adds and adding keywords, we can also add additional metadata values. In the metadata section, we can choose which particular metadata fields we want to see. I'll leave this set to the default, but we could also choose the EXIF option, for example, which is the camera's metadata, the IPTC information, which is basically captioning information, adding details about the photo, and there are other options as well. I'll start with default and scroll through, and you can see some metadata has been added at import, for example, my copyright information, but I can also add additional information. I'll go ahead and add a title to this image, for example. I'll click into the title field, and I'll type a name for this image. There we go, the flowers of Mirabelle Garden, since that's where this particular photo was captured. I could also add a caption to the image. This would be a little bit more descriptive text if I wanted to. The point is that we can add a variety of additional information about this photo, which can be very helpful later. And I encourage you, at least for your favorite photos from a particular trip, that you add some of these details. You'll find that it can be very helpful to refresh your memory or to locate a particular photo later if you've added some detailed information about the subject, where it was photographed, the particular conditions, and any other useful information. Note, by the way, that you can also add keywords to multiple images at the same time, provided you're working in the grid view. In loop view, you'll only be adding metadata to a single image at once. If I select multiple images, however, and then switch into the grid view, now I can add keywords or other metadata to both of these images. So, for example, I'll scroll back up to the keywords, and I'll simply add flowers and tulips for these images. And now I'll press enter or return to apply the change. And if I switch between these images, you'll see that all of them have all of those keywords. Since I added keywords to all of these images, and I can do that again, either individually in the loop view or to multiple images at once in the grid view.
Another option that's very similar to the concept of keywords is a collection. I'll scroll down on the left panel in the library module and you can see that we have a collections section. Let's assume that when I get home I plan to create a slideshow featuring some of the images from Austria. I could then create a collection to contain those images while I'm working. I'll go ahead and select a single image, for example, that I would presumably like to add to my slideshow. And then over to the right of the collections header, I'll click the plus button and then choose to create a collection. I'll give the collection a name. In this case, I'll simply call it Austria Slideshow. I'll create this collection as a top-level collection, in other words, not inside of a collection set. And I do, in this case, want to include the selected photos, since I first selected a photo that I wanted to add into this collection. And I don't want to make a virtual copy. I simply want a reference to the original image, so that if I change the appearance of this image, for example, that will be reflected in the collection. I'll go ahead and click Create, and the Austria Slideshow collection is created, and the image that was selected when I created that collection is now included as part of the collection. And of course, I can add additional images to this collection at any time. I can simply go navigate to other images, for example, and if I find another photograph that I'd like to include in my slideshow, I can simply click and drag it over to the collection, and it too will be added to that collection. So as you can see, there are a variety of options to help keep your images organized using keywords, other metadata values, and collections. And making use of all of these options will really help you find specific photos later so that you can share them with others.